Hello everyone. Welcome to the science stuff. Today we are going to be doing the BioRed test or the food test for proteins. Hope you enjoy. So for this experiment I'll be using a cup with some copper sulfate solution, a cup with some sodium hydroxide or caustic soda solution and another cup with milk as my test sample. I'll also be using two spoons. So first I'm going to take some of the sodium hydroxide solution and I'm going to use the spoon to put it inside the milk sample. Then I'm going to mix it well. Then I'm going to take the spoon and I'm going to take some of my copper sulfate solution and I'm going to add it to my milk sample. I'm going to stir it well. There. Now let's look at the observations. We saw that dilute sodium hydroxide solution was added to the milk sample. After some dilute copper sulfate solution was added, the milk sample turned into a violet color. Now why does this happen? When we added the caustic soda solution, we turned the milk sample alkaline and gave it a higher pH. In an alkaline solution, copper 2 from the copper sulfate solution is able to form a complex with the peptide bonds. Once this complex has been formed, the solution turns from a blue color to a violet color. The deeper the violet or purple color, the more peptide copper complexes have been formed. This means that the deeper the purple color, the more proteins are present in the given sample. And as the milk sample turned violet, we can conclude that milk contains proteins. If there is no protein present in a given sample, then the color of the solution will be blue, which is the color of the copper sulfate solution. Here, you can see an image of a negative BioRed test. If the fourth sample to be tested is in a solid form, then make it into an extract. Grind, crush or chop into small particles and mix it well with water to make your necessary test sample. Now I hope you have gotten a clearer understanding on the food test for proteins or the Biore test. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe for similar science content and comment down below on the topic you would like me to do next. And you're watching the science stuff.